The leader of the rebel sprinter group is ethnic Tusi rebel commander Bosco Ntaganda, a top aide of Roland Nkunda. He's known as the Terminator and spoke to journalists in North Kivu province late last week. We removed General Nkunda as the head of our movement, but CNDP is still the same, same objective. When there is a bad leadership, it does not mean that the leader is bad. We could not continue with this very bad organization of our troops and in political and financial issues. So as a high commander of troops, I decided to chase him for the good of CNDP. Ntaganda claims that Ankunda was obstructing efforts to achieve peace in Congo's war-ravaged east. The rebels are battling government forces and various militias in North Kivu province. They say they are protecting the local Tusi community. An estimated a quarter million people have been displaced in the fighting. We ask Laurent Kunda to accept defeat in order to avoid any violence that could happen. Because I admire the decision of the military high command, which has opted against violence and is working to ensure that we move forward. In April last year, the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Ntaganda accusing him of recruiting children under 15 to fight in an ethnic-based conflict in northeast Ituri district. Subsequent peace talks in Nairobi under the United Nations and Africa Union mediation have made literal headway. Talks between the government and the CNDP began last December. As we move ahead during this session, we must remain mindful of the suffering of the people in the Kivus, and we must constantly remind ourselves that the eyes of the DR Congo and the world will be focused on the unfolding developments in this dialogue process. AIDS insists that Ankunda remains in control of the rebel movement and that Ntaganda will be disciplined for insubordination. Nkunda launched his rebellion in 2004, saying he wanted to protect Eastern Congo's Tusi minority from attacks by Rwandan Hutu rebels. Paul Liho, VOA News.